In this video, you will learn the names of the parts of the mouth and how we produce speech sounds. When we produce sounds, we use our lips, tongue, and throat. Let's look inside the mouth. It's important to learn about these parts of the mouth. If you want to learn how to pronounce challenging sounds correctly, you need to know which part of the tongue touches which part of the mouth. The tongue can be divided into four parts, the tip, the blade, the body, and the root. They touch various spots inside the mouth when you produce different sounds. For example, for the Japanese sound ra, the tip of the tongue touches the alveolar ridge. For the ka sound, the body of the tongue touches the velum. Now let's take a closer look at how we use these parts to produce speech sounds. When we articulate a, ah, the tongue is at the bottom of the mouth. In contrast, for e, the tongue is raised higher. For u, the tongue is raised but is retracted in comparison to e. When we articulate consonants, the movement of the tongue is more complex. For ka, as mentioned earlier, the tongue is pulled back inside the mouth and the tongue body touches the velum. For ta, the tip of the tongue touches the alveolar ridge. What happens with pa? For pa, the tongue doesn't touch anywhere. Now let's compare ta and sa. For ta and sa, the tongue position and movement of the tongue are very similar. What do you think is the difference? In this case, the way the air goes through the mouth is different. Notice that for ta, the tongue touches the alveolar ridge, but for sa, it doesn't. This will change the airflow. If there is space between the tongue and the alveolar ridge, the air passes through the mouth. But if there is no space, the airflow is blocked and a different sound is produced. Lastly, let's compare ta and da. Ta and da have exactly the same position and movement of the tongue. However, as you can hear, they sound different. This difference is called voicing. When you touch your finger onto your throat, you can feel the vibration for da, but not for ta. We call d a voiced sound and t a voiceless sound. So when you produce a sound, pay attention to the position of the tongue, the movement of the tongue, where your tongue touches or does not touch, the airflow based on the tongue movement, and the vibration of the throat.